Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the mechanism and symptoms of all antidepressants. Depression has been associated with decrease in the following neurotransmitters at the synapse, which means that if you look down at the neurons, you will see that two neurons are connected together using a synapse. And this is how one neuron or nerve connects or communicates with another. The first neuron will send or transmit some neurotransmitters and these are neuropreferin, serotonin, or dopamine. And the other neuron responds by receiving these particles. And after the signal is transmitted, the first neuron retakes or reuptakes the transmitters that have been sent. And we have developed some medications that simply blocks this action. So once the first neuron sends some molecules, they will be trapped in the synaptic area and they will continue stimulating the second neuron. And this action is known as reuptake inhibition, from which we have the most commonly used antidepressant, SSRIs, which stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. They basically selectively inhibit the reuptake of only serotonin. The other class are serotonin neuropreferin reuptake inhibitors and dopamine neuropreferin reuptake inhibitors. But we also have some other medications that have more effects, such as TCAs or tricyclic antidepressants. These are very powerful because they have their effects not only in the brain but also in the body. They block the reuptake of serotonin, neuropreferin, but they also cause the release of histamine and work on the alpha and muscarinic receptors. So they have a lot of effects and also a lot of side effects. If we go back to the neuron, we'll see that once the first neuron reuptakes the neurotransmitters, it has an enzyme that slowly breaks down these neurotransmitters. This enzyme is known as monoamino oxidase, and we can inhibit this enzyme using monoamino oxidase inhibitors, which will result in the increase of the neurotransmitters within the neuron. Now let's see the classes and their side effects. The first class is the most commonly used and is the first line, which is the SSRIs, the selective serotonin re reuptake inhibitors, the most common side effects include agitation, feeling sick, indigestion in some patients, change in the bowel habits such as diarrhea or constipation, loss of appetite and weight loss, blurry vision in some patients, and dry mouth. These side effects vary from one patient to another and take some time to develop. The second class, the SNRIs, they can cause tiredness, constipation, insomnia, change in the lipido and sexual desires, and loss of appetite. The third class, the TCAs, these are more powerful but they also have more, more side effects, which include dry mouth, blurry vision, constipation, drowsiness, weight gain, and excessive sweating especially at night. Overdosing in TCAs can cause heart problems, and this presents with Q2 interval elongation and might lead to heart failure. This can be reversed by giving the patient intravenous sodium bicarbonate, which is the antidote of the TCAs. And finally, monoamine oxidase inhibitors can cause dry mouth, diarrhea or constipation, headache, drowsiness, insomnia, and some skin reactions in some patients. Keep in mind, just because you see the side effects doesn't mean that you will develop them. The variation of symptoms varies from one patient to another. And that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this video taught you something.